wedding photographers of Reddit. What was your, they're not gonna last long, moment? Said this before. Third wedding and the best man, the groom's brother, starts his speech. Well, welcome back everyone. Good to see some new faces and some old ones. When I worked as a wedding planner for a hotel chain, the groom had found out his bride was having an affair with her brother's best mate. The bride's mother knew about it, but insisted on the wedding and paid a fortune. The groom wasn't drinking much and at the speeches, stood up and revealed he knew and said he was getting an annulment. He then took his best man on his honeymoon. The honeymoon the bride's parents had paid for. At the rehearsal dinner, every toast to the bride was some euphemistic variation of I'm so glad you finally found someone to put up with your bullshit. They barely made it to the six-month mark. What movie did you just not get? I recently watched American Psycho for the first time. I honestly had no idea what happened at the end, what was real, what was in his head, any of it. Felt a little better when I saw that nobody really knows for sure online. Not quite as good as I've heard, but it wasn't bad at all. I think somebody said that American Psycho is really about what rich people get away with in life. In the beginning he is dragging the body but nobody really cares. I have no idea why Avatar is so popular. It's just a tech demo. The human centipede. Why they had to make the first one was bad enough and then they made two more. I never saw the appeal in that movie at all. Tenet. I'm thinking of ending things. I have no idea what the movie is trying to tell me. What is the most brutal insult you have ever received, given? My mom never treated my kids very well. Not bad, but she wasn't really very loving towards them. Mom and I were talking about my oldest, who was approximately 18 at the time, and had been dating the same guy for a few years. Mom says, so what's going on with daughter and boyfriend? Are they going to get married? I say, I don't know. I mean, it's possible. Mom says, I just don't know that I'm ready to be a great grandmother. Well, you could always try being a good one, first. I got into a road rage argument with a guy and he called me, a Mumford and son looking bastard. I must point out that I was neither wearing a waistcoat or playing a banjo at the time. I did have a beard though. Musician here, after fucking up a solo, the other guy said, that was an interesting choice. What do you think happens to you after you die? My family sells all my stuff way under value. My family sells all my stuff way under value. Don't flatter yourself. We're hiring a dumpster. I don't know but I'm going to put off finding out firsthand for as long as I reasonably can. I imagine it's like when you fall asleep unexpectedly or go under for a surgery and you wake up out of a haze, minus the waking up part. You know how it felt in the millennia before we were born. I'd imagine it'll be a lot like that. Spectator mode. It was always that everything goes black and you just don't exist anymore. My soul believes that you die and you get to live in your own little paradise and have always loved the idea of that. I just wish I could believe it. It's also been super sweet to hear from him that I'm gonna be in his little paradise. What's the rush? We'll find out soon enough. If you eat 15,000 calories in a day, you get $1 billion. How do you get it done? I guess I can cut back a little if it means being a billionaire. I used to be on a 10,000 calorie a day diet when I was training as a competitive athlete for 6 to 10 hours a day. 15,000 wouldn't be too bad. The trick is high calorie liquids. The trick is not to eat the calories but to drink them. Creating or buying 2,500 plus calorie milkshakes is shockingly and disgustingly easy. Most of us could relatively comfortably drink 5 to 6 of these for this. This is certainly the easiest cop-out way to achieve this. Just eat at the Cheesecake Factory for all three meals a day, plus desserts and you'll be good. Really not that hard if you are allowed the full 24 hours. High calorie drinks and super processed foods that are engineered to keep you eating. As many Cinnabons as it takes.